Alright, I'm making a video on the HD2. I learned how to program uh, C++ and Python. And for that I'm using uh, SL4A, which is a scripting layer for Android. And uh, C4 Droid, which is for C++ on the Android. And right here I got the Droid Edit. As you can see. And let's see, let's open up a, a script. As you can see. You get syntax highlighting and everything runs real smooth and fast on the HD2 and as if this phone wasn't good enough it's now I can code on it so that's pretty awesome and as you can see I'll run this right now this script and right here and create it gives you the options to, yeah, you can't see it on here, but you get the options to uh, run in terminal, uh, build, and run, uh, edit, save, and delete. I'll run in terminal. That's a script. Do you want to create a file? Yes or no? We'll just put, uh, yes. Oops. Yes. Enter file name. Blah 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 blah. And if you can see my iPad video, uh, I use the same script. And then to exit, you just write. Oh, sorry. Exit. Done. Would you like to view the file? Yes, I would. And that's basically what I wrote. And then process has exited. Close terminal. Yeah. And then if I go. File manager. Oops. Sorry, I'm looking through the iPod and kind of confusing. And then. It should be right here. Right here. Bunch of oops. Bunch of gibberish. And you'll see all that bunch of gibberish that I wrote. And then here's a uh, C plus yeah. plus. It starts off blank. You can st start writing on here, but I prefer to write on that Droid Edit, and then just open it. Go to my and let's see what do I let's do this one. Oh, sorry, select. And you can see that's pretty much code and assignment for class that I had. Oh, don't want to mess with that. Okay, well look you can see these are options. Open, new, save, compile and run you put run it'll compile it and I think it'll run right away yeah there you go see it opens up a terminal within this app with the within C4 droid and it runs my well this is a blank assignment so it just runs the default and then just exit it and well if you guys want me to show you how to do this just uh, leave a message a comment or anything and uh, I'll get into very detail tell me if you want me to do it separate or together I'll get in uh, detail on how to get SL4A working it should work on any Android phone as well as a uh, C4 droid uh, just leave a message like this video and uh, let me know what you think